This is Chris Biederman of the Sacramento Bee, and here are five players to watch when the 49ers host the Arizona Cardinals Week 11. Number one, linebacker Fred Warner. The 49ers didn't see any drop-off in the middle of their defense Monday against the Seahawks following Quan Alexander's season-ending chest injury. That's because Warner had the best game of his career. He recorded the first two sacks since entering the NFL, forced a fumble, broke up a pass, and led the team with 10 tackles. Warner is evolving into one of the league's best young linebackers and faces another stiff test against a mobile quarterback Kyler Murray in the Cardinals' up-tempo offense. Number 2. The 49ers Receivers Top target Emmanuel Sanders is questionable to play Sunday after sustaining a rib injury versus Seattle. That puts extra emphasis on youngsters Debo Samuel, Kendrick Bourne, and Dante Pettis. Sanders had the best performance of his rookie season, logging 112 yards on 8 catches. But Pettis and Bourne both had crucial drops and big moments against Seattle, and will need to shore up their hands if Jimmy Garoppolo is going to trust them if Sanders can't play. Number 3. Defensive end Nick Bosa the standout rookie was a force against the Seahawks, but he hasn't made any game-changing plays since he had three sacks and an interception October 27th against the Panthers. That's largely because the 49ers have gone against shifty quarterbacks Murray and Russell Wilson. With Ronald Blair done for the season with a knee injury and D. Ford getting scarce reps as he continues to deal with knee tendonitis, Bosa's role has grown more important. The team is hoping he can avoid the dreaded rookie wall and continue to be the defense's most intimidating player. Number 4. Running back Tevin Coleman The 49ers had their worst rushing performance of the season against Seattle, logging just 87 yards on the ground. Coleman was given just 9 carries as San Francisco threw the ball 46 times while the Seahawks stacked the box. San Francisco must improve in the running game on Sunday to find more balance as their receivers struggle, but that might be difficult without the fierce blocking from tight end George Kittle, who isn't expected to play due to left leg injuries. Number 5. Quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo The franchise signal caller has been steady throughout the season, but he's coming off arguably his worst showing of the year. Garoppolo appeared rattled by the pressure from the Seahawks' defensive front and completed a season-low 52% of his passes. Some of the blame absolutely falls on his receivers for dropping passes and injuries to Kittle and Sanders. Regardless, the 49ers need Garoppolo to get back into a rhythm Sunday with the first-place Packers, Ravens, and Saints looming on the schedule.